Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just cooking up a triple batch of taco hot dish. Fried potatoes. It's a pretty chilly day today. It got down to six degrees. Right now it's, I think, nine. Last time I looked, it's supposed to get up to 21. But we have this wind coming right out of the north. Tomorrow it's supposed to get up to 31 or 32 with the south wind, but not as windy as it you know, is today or what it was yesterday and the day before. It was like really windy. And then tomorrow night, it sounds like about an inch of snow. Then a uh, Kind of a day off there and then my phone is showing depending on what you look at my phone says 18 inches of snow right now um, the national weather service just put up a thing that looks like around 8.1 they're saying here but that's still a few days away so that'll change but this one's going to be all about the snow doing that again for at least another week and then I uh, got called yesterday and to do a pickup they'll do all the lifting and it was like I can't pass that money up so doing another run today it's uh, kind of the calm before the storms it was six degrees this morning now it's up to 16 I think it was last time I looked uh, right now it's about 20 after 10 and now tonight we should get one or two inches of snow. If we were a little bit south of here, we'd be getting four, maybe five. And then the next day, nothing really, and really nothing the following day. And then it comes in and both my phone right now and the TV are saying we should get around 16 inches. That of course can change. They're not sure about the temperature and what's gonna be more like rain or freezing rain or snow, but it's gonna get messy. After my shower last night, I put my blue jeans on and it was fine, but I couldn't keep them on that long. It's like just right where they snap and everything in that midsection is right where they rub and it, would, it got sore and I had to go back to my sweats. Feeling pretty good, but not quite there for my jeans yet. picking up now I'm heading back to Superior I think I'm gonna stop at in Cotton Minnesota and Wilbur Cafe if they're still open it's I think they're probably open till at least two get some lunch I haven't ate there for a long time
I just got home. It's 10 minutes to 4. Parked my truck over here. I still have to tonight get the uh, plow put on the four-wheeler. I could do it tomorrow, but I, I probably get it tonight. We'll see. I'm going to go inside for a little while. Take a good look now. It's all going to look different shortly. couple of loose bolts down here and but it's going to take a considerable uh, amount of work to get those tightened up this one's even bent I thought I noticed it being more like this I think I've had to replace them one other time it looks like there should have been one here and here at one time too But to get to that, I'd have to pull the winch and everything, and I'm not in any condition to do that. So this will have to work. I mean, the only way to keep ahead, like right now, it's dropped down to just, I think, 13 inches. So I, we'll see what happens. I mean, we're talking, uh, let's see, you know, actually four days from now is when the big snow is going to start hitting up, you know, supposedly. And I'll have to take a look at it then. But the only way to keep up that, you can't push that with this. I will have to go out there and push it, you know, at like four inches and keep pushing. But we're going to get a lot of wind in blizzard conditions, which means you can push out the driveway and go out there an hour later and it has, you know, gone straight across the driveway because of the wind. You can't keep up with it. And if it gets to that, then I'll just call somebody up to come and uh, plow it out. But... If I can just, you know, keep it clear enough so we can get in and out, you know, another two weeks from now, it'll be all gone, pretty much. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting, like, this bolt put in there. I could get at that one. Uh, but... It'd be nice to have one more in there. I wonder what I've got in the... It'd be a bummer to get that nut in there, but... I guess we should go look at the bolts that are in the workshop. And if I could get one in this side, this one looks like I might be able to do it. That would just give one more tightening. I mean, as soon as the plow comes off, then I'm going to forget about it until next year. <laughs> this tire looks a little bit low, too. I should probably pump that up. I just, I think I, did I pump this one up last time? Maybe that one's got a slow leak, or I pumped that one up, but... Let me turn this thing on, get that pumped up. <laughs> Today would have been a nice day to work on this here. 
lot, but I wasn't home. It's uh, 31 degrees outside, but with the hot water lines that come through here, I remember I shut that heater off in here, the air exchanger, and the heat exchanger, whatever it's called. And uh, But with those lines, it's 44 degrees in here without even having that thing blow on anything. What size will work? started these earlier this year, uh, the generator too, but that's really important. But if I remember right, this one here, the electric start wouldn't work, so I had to pull it by hand, and I'm not going to do that. That's too much for right here. But we have both of these working, so I'm going to put the new tires on there and everything. That one will start with electric. This one, I couldn't get it to turn over. I don't know why. I mean, I <laughs> think it's pretty brand new. I don't know... I don't know why. But anyway, I could probably use this too. It wouldn't be too much of a strain on me. This will do a lot of snow. I'm just going to plug that in and top off my 180 here. I don't think with this storm we're going to lose power for any length of time, but if we did, I could bring the multi-cooler inside and we'd have a refrigerator that worked. I'm glad that's done. I could have easily done it tomorrow, although there'll be snow on the ground in the morning or the following day, it's really not going to be that bad, but it's going to get windy, and tonight, I mean, no wind. Good morning everybody. We got no snow last night here. 
At my mom and dad's house, two hours and 20 minutes south, they got between four and five inches. Snowstorm is still coming for in a few days from now. It had dropped a little bit now. It was down to like 12 inches that we're gonna get here, 12 or 13, I can't remember. But there's another one that showed between 16 and 25 inches. So <laughs> I started my truck. I'm really bored, so I think I'm gonna go into Duluth, meet Melissa somewhere for lunch today. Attempting to do this wearing my jeans today. I haven't been able to wear jeans for anything but a short amount of time because it gets uncomfortable, but so far they feel good. I can always unbutton them. Today it's 17 days since I had my surgery. We decided we're going to go to the China King Buffet in Duluth. That's my favorite one up here. There's one right in, a couple of them right here in Cloquet, but neither of them are, are very good at all to me. China King Buffet is good. Almost as good as the buffet down in Elk River where my mom and dad live. That one's really good. And there's one in Louisiana called The Wall that is really good. You know, they have different things, some southern stuff in there that's really good. Well, I had two plates there. Luckily, on my way down here though, I had to unbutton my pants anyway because I got about 10 miles into it and it was like, okay, that kind of hurts. Now I'm super full, so I'm glad. I had to stop here and get Powerball tickets and Mega Million because one of them was like 750 million and the other one was like 600 and Melissa said you have to stop. It's like 100 million isn't enough though when you get up there. Then she wants to get the tickets. Good morning everybody. Zero degrees Fahrenheit right now. Nice day. Later on today Melissa and I will probably make it out to the fish house camper to watch a movie so I went out there and turned up the heat. She's still sleeping right now but I'm pretty sure she's doing breakfast for lunch today. Storm is still coming for tomorrow sometime. Oh, I just got out of the shower, heading for the fish house for movie time. Melissa's already out there with the dogs. Oh, we just got done watching the movie Conagher out in the fish house. I haven't seen that movie for a long time and I mean the story's awesome and but the movie is you know just kind of so 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 much stuff that's left out and they would have had a million dollar budget or, or a million dollars more it could have been better but it was fun to watch. Come out here now and I started that up but I accidentally hit a button and so it was on Celsius I had no clue, so I had to go in and look up the manual inside and then come out here and switch it to Fahrenheit and now I just have it coming on at 55 and shutting off at 60. I had it shut off, remember, before because uh, it was warm enough out, but with the storm like what's supposed to be coming here, who knows, I might end up out here tomorrow. 
Nothing like watching the storm through the big window. It's oddly calm tonight, very quiet. Okay, everyone, 10.30 at night. I'm just about to go to bed. Tomorrow's the big day. Good morning, everybody. It's 4.45 right now. I came out here just to check things at 4 o'clock, and it was just a couple of snowflakes falling. Pretty big ones coming down now. When I look at my phone right now, it says 17 inches over the next three days. Twenty minutes after eight now, they say that this is just an appetizer of what's coming. The snow is more, well, last time I did a video clip it was bigger flakes, you know, kind of fluffy snow. But the stuff that's coming is going to be heavy and wet, and it's going to get wetter as time goes on because it's going to start pulling moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. I need to wash this window one of these days. Melissa's in there doing dishes, and then she's going to make chili. Perfect day for chili. I am so bored. I come out here and I look at this stuff and it's like, oh, I should get this stuff put away now. And it's like, most of that stuff I can't lift yet. <laughs> that wind was coming more from the south earlier this morning. Now it's picking up a little bit and it's coming out of the east, so it's coming off of Lake Superior. You know, Ben's doing the best he can. Maybe he's a dick. Look at him. Look at him. Well, it's about 11.30 in the morning now. Lunch is almost done. Just some light snow falling. According to my phone, it kind of really kicks in around 3 o'clock today. Looking than yours. Yours does look better than mine, but I don't want to put all that crap on there. Five o'clock right now, and I don't know, I don't think we've got more than a couple inches on the ground so far. A good way to look is on the garbage can there. It looks like two, two and a half inches. And the phone still says 14 more inches coming. I was just thinking that for the people that complain about it being a weather report all the time, you're loving this one. Now it's just about 6.30 right now. This is serious snow here. This is the stuff that really racks up quickly. I'm actually going to get on the four-wheeler and push some out on the driveway towards the end so Brandon can get the garbage can down and just try to keep ahead of it. But with a storm like this, if this keeps up like they're saying, it's a storm you can't stay in front of. Not unless you stay up all night long and I'm not doing it. But I do want to clear some once you get to be 8 to 10 inches, you can't push it with the four-wheeler.
that's all I'm pushing around tonight. I can feel it when you jiggle around. I can feel it on my left side. Right side used to be the one that was the sorest, but it's pushed out and it's pushed out wide. So whatever we have to do tomorrow, we'll figure that out. Okay, everyone, 1030 at night. We're just about to go to bed. I guess we'll just see what this looks like tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Quarter after five right now. I'm just in the kitchen watching to get the latest weather. On my phone, it's still showing 11 more inches is going to fall here. And I'd say we have, I don't know, six or seven inches that have already fallen. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. It also says it's, I, I didn't look at ours, but the TV says it's 32 degrees. Quarter after eight, snowing pretty good. I'm gonna get on the four-wheeler and see if I can still push that front part out or if this is getting too wet and heavy. Well, that's it for now. Far from a good job, but I'm far from totally healed. <laughs> I can feel it. Enough so we can easily get in and out of here. And if what they're saying is true, and this is like half, you know, there's another half of this coming, 
I was impressed with that four wheeler. It pushed it pretty good, but I think it's because there was no, you know, there's no ice on the ground. It pushed almost anything I wanted. Melissa made two more loaves of sourdough bread. What did this one have? Uh, blueberries in it? Mm hmm. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It's kind of, I don't know if it's lightly snowing or kind of a mist out right now, although my thing inside says it's 29 degrees. The, uh, my phone still says we'll have three more inches today and four inches tomorrow. But I'm going to take the four-wheeler and just clean up the end of the driveway. I did watch the grader go by when it was plowing the road, and it was nice enough to lift up its blade so it didn't push everything right into the driveway. I appreciate that because I had pushed it down the road so it wouldn't quite fill it all in. Such a wet, heavy snow. At least we got a little bit of snow this winter. We really needed the moisture, so that's good. But now everything's going to be a mess for a little bit. Brandon was out a little bit ago and filled up that boiler. And he said how bad it sucks when that wood is all inside the snow like that. It's like that's why the woodshed is there. Not much more to burn out of that pile. We've been burning on that one for almost a month now. Then he can go inside and get it out of the shed, and by the time that's all burnt up, we'll just about be finished with running the boiler. But I do all have that stuff cut up on the back two piles if we need to get a couple more weeks out of it. I will see you guys on the next video.